Who are Rico? We are here in St. Catherine's College to look for our BBC School News report on, on body image. So, we're here to interview Miss Donnelly about body image. So, Miss Donnelly, if you weren't involved in sports, would you still do regular exercise? I would like to think so. Um, it's hard to imagine not playing sports as such um, because I am such a competitive person. But um, I would like to think that I would be involved in, in some sort of in some sort of sport. Um, I don't know about running, not my favourite thing, but definitely going to the gym or, or some aspect of that. And then even just being competitive with myself, if that, you know, if that was the case. But um, I really enjoy team sports, so it's, it's a little bit hard to imagine. Do you think that a healthy body image would give someone confidence? I definitely think it would help with someone's confidence. Um, but on the other side of that, you know, some people can maybe take it to the extreme and maybe to themselves they don't feel confident, yet they probably look confident to people on the outside, you know. Um, it depends on how seriously some people take it and I suppose it is just the culture and magazines and different things that are are telling, telling people what the perfect body image is, which is unrealistic because most of those are probably airbrushed to within an inch of their lives and it's really hard to know what is real and what's not in this day and age. What overall do you think maintains your body image? I don't focus on anything too particular. Um, I just play sport. I just play sport. I go to my trainings and I don't focus on going to them to for my body image and such. Um, it's more just for the training themselves to be better at camogie to, to win at the end of the day. Um, as well as that, the likes of a healthy diet to help towards my body image is probably something that I'm lacking a little bit. Uh, I really I really enjoy food and if I, there's food I like, I eat it at the end of the day. And as long as I see, if I see that I'm, I'm training and, and just keeping myself healthy and you know not going to extreme, then then it works for me. So, mm -hmm. uh, what advice would you give to any young boys or girls who maybe aren't part of a club or doing regular exercise? The advice I would give would be to get up, jump off your seat, and go join a club or something. It doesn't have to be anything too strenuous. Okay, even if it's just what is it? I think it's maybe thirty minutes a day exercise is what is what is seen as keeping you know healthy and such, keeping active, and um, just even small things like taking the stairs or whatever but you know along with that it's always good to get in to something where there's a social aspect because it makes it a whole lot easier to go to you're not fighting yourself to go to anything and um, and a lot of the time friendships can be built on on joining those types of clubs or you know no matter how big or small they are and um, if you're going to meet people it just makes getting out of the house a whole lot easier and a whole lot more enjoyable thank you mm -hmm. we're here with our classmate Eve McFarland to talk about body image Eve, how do you feel about people getting plastic surgery due to the image models? Coming from a teenage girl, I feel that models portray such an unhealthy body image and they influence girls like me to do the wrong thing and get plastic surgery when they're older because they aren't like happy with their body or anything. How do you feel about plus size models breaking the stereotypes of the world? I think plus size models are breaking the stereotype and should continue to do so because they're making young girls like us look up to them because they're standing up for what they believe in. It just sort of shows us that you don't have to be skinny to be I beautiful. feel about teens with I personally feel that we shouldn't blame the young teen with an eating disorder because it really isn't their fault and they have to deal with the consequences. Like when they look on the social media, all they see is skinny people and that's all they want to be. So I really do blame society. Do you them. agree with the statement, a skinny physique is the new fashion? Trend? I personally disagree. It's I feel people should be comfortable in their own skin, even if they are plus size. So from skin color to body size, just be who you want to be. And this is it for the BBC School Report in St. Catherine's College.